<laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Um, I'm exhausted. I hate these flights. It was like uh, we left Florida. I, we, I'm saying as if Joanne's here, but she's not. I left Florida, uh, two hour flight to Dulles in Washington, and then from there, 14 hours. So 13, you know, close to 14 hours. Uh, left great weather, and uh, I don't know what time it is, 7 o'clock at night now in Japan. It's raining. Um, Norman Bodex says it's 70 minutes by bus from the hotel, from the airport to get to the hotel. Well, 70 minutes, he says, without traffic. Well, you can count on traffic. I think it's over two hours uh, or around two hours, and uh, so that makes it, what, two-hour flight, um, another 14 hours at 16 hours, another hour wait for the bus, another two hours. So we're talking 20, 20 hours. It's it's crazy. So I hate this about traveling, but you got to know at the end of the day, it's worth it. All right. So hello. Um, first things first, I'm going to go through the itinerary that I have from Rafael Lucero. And Rafael is our coach in Spain, and it's called the Adam uh, Study Mission, Adam Japan Study Mission. And if you don't know, a little tidbit, Adam is uh, reversed for Muda. So I asked him uh, last year when I went and visited him, what does Adam stand for? He says, you don't know? And I said, no, it's like Muda backwards. I said, okay, I get it, but it's not obvious. I don't care what he says. So here we go. So this is a, a little view of the room. I think, um, you know, both myself and... Uh, Paul Akers have it right, which is every day you got to do a little bit of video work if you're going to get through the whole thing. So every day I'm going to do a little bit in my room. What went well? What could be improved? So I'll give you guys the feedback. Now I'm going to read through the itinerary for the week. Today we do have one piece of homework. Uh, other than reviewing each company's values, vision, mission statement, we've got to create a goal for ourselves for this, a new goal for ourselves this year with Norman Bodek. He's going to take us through the Harada method. So I want to tell you about my goal for the last couple years that I've been working towards, and so far, so good. All right? And, and then I'm going to review with you the uh, itinerary for the next week. All right, so here's my book. I haven't opened up my Harada book for a little while, but uh, uh, this was the goal I set with Joanne uh, about a year ago. And it says to travel each calendar year, days shy of six months, each year. So I obviously repeated myself. It doesn't matter. Really the um, 64 chart is excellent. It allows you to plan for what your main goal is and how to get there around it. So, all right, let's get started. Here's the review. This is the Adam study, Adam Japan study mission, March 2015. So first page, uh, welcome information. All right, this is interesting. Welcome. We want to share the details of our Japan study mission. Our name is uh, our name of the mission is is Adam Study Mission. This will be on our buses. Okay, of course you need a passport, but no visa. Actually, that's interesting. You don't need a visa um, uh, coming from Canada or the U.S. So that's good. You don't need a visa. Dress code, business casual, good idea. All right, bring a notebook, especially if you want to take notes on the bus. Um, okay, good. And then there's recommendations. Um, and then we talk a little bit about the Harada method on the bus. That's great. Our arrival to Tokyo Narita Airport. This is wonderful. Uh, you will arrive in Tokyo Narita Airport. Just follow the crowd to immigration. Okay, that's a good one. Um, many people might go uh, to transit to China. You are going through immigration in Tokyo. They will give you an immigration card, fill out, do both sides. That's what I've done. This should not take much time. I did that on the airplane. Make sure you ask for immigration cards on the airplane. I did two of them, uh, and I fill out both sides. Ask for them, because when they said, are you staying in Japan? I said no, and they said, you don't need to fill this out, but we did. Um, okay, after immigration, uh, you go downstairs to get your luggage and pass through a brief customs inspection area. There, there's a couple really good pictures here. Uh, you are a tourist not doing any business. After customs, you pass through the door and you will uh, see across the hall uh, an airport, airport limousine desk. Okay, this is uh, actually this is a good picture of the airport limousine desk. 
It says buy a ticket for about uh, thirty dollars U.S. to the Tokyo Royal Park Shio Dome Hotel. Now the bus will stop in front of the hotel. This is uh, this is good. They take credit cards. Um, getting on the bus. Now this is interesting. I took a couple pictures for you. I slid them in here. Uh, take a look at this. You go outside and there's bus numbers. Now Norman shows uh, bus number twelve. But the bus we were going to is number 10. All right, so bus number 10. And uh, it takes us right in front of the, the place. On the bus tickets, you'll notice that um, each ticket has a time on it. That's the time you're expected to be in the lanes. There's lane 1, lane 2. So if you're there a little early, you get into lane 2, and they will move you into lane 1 when your bus is up. But you can also see based on the board uh, that, you know, here's where it's going. So you just kind of take a look at that. Okay, Royal Park Shio Dome Hotel, Tokyo. You will check into the hotel. Now, interesting, they dropped this in front, and I'm looking for a place to check in. There's, you know, there's nothing. I mean, I, I couldn't see anything. The um, registration desk is on the 24th floor. And I had to go around the corner to find where to go up the elevator. So I look like an idiot. Uh, I'm thinking I'm looking like an idiot. I probably just look like a tourist. But you have to find your way around. Look for signs. They do have them in English. Okay, and then you go up to the 24th floor and you check in. Everybody was really nice.